Sabres Forever. I'm John, and uh, as promised, lots of Star Killers. So these guys were a little bit of a handful. There's some really cool stuff going on. They are Starfall Sabres, and uh, they're really loud in case you haven't noticed. So without further ado, why don't we just jump right in and I'll show you what's going on. So, Star Killers, huh? <laughs> uh, you think we got enough of them? Honestly, I could always do with more Star Killers. These are super cool. Uh, Grievous just dropped these off. Uh, but actually, with all kidding aside, uh, these sabers are made by Starfall Sabers. Uh, I am super happy that he was willing to let me experiment with the install, and so I got to do um, a couple of little cool things with accent uh, neopixels. So let's just show that off real quick. And something that I got to do that is really fun is uh, not only is the crystal backlit with a neopixel, but so is the um, backing for the crystal chamber. So, that's super fun. Um, it's definitely, I, I actually dimmed it with um, some battery heat shrink. It's, a, it's like a silver heat shrink, so it kind of looks metallic already um, when it's not backlit, but then when you light it up, it gets a little accent LED lighting, which is really fun. Um, and then another cool thing is the actual saber has another bar graph animation right down here. So this, when you turn the saber on, will strobe left and right, and then when it's off, it will either mimic or counter um, light against the uh, crystal. The timings are a little bit different, so it, sometimes it seems like they have a mind of their own but sometimes they match up real well, and then <laughs> other times they just are totally counter. So that's really cool. And then um, if you take off the bottom of the uh, grip section, you get access to your battery, which this has Arabesh written on here, which uh, is di diadium, which is the name of the cells that they use in Star Wars. Um, you have a 28 millimeter bass speaker, Profi board V2.2, um, and then all these accent LEDs, two tactile switches. Your power is the top button and your auxiliary is the bottom. Um, and if you ever wanted to just get access, like this board, it only has um, static proof tape over top of it. So you could just peel this up and then pull the profi board up. It's not glued in or anything. This is just to keep it from popping out. Um, it is also a very snug fit. So you wouldn't really have to worry about it, even if the... Um, tape wasn't there. So you just want to line up your um, bottom brass section here and your screw on the right side of the saber from this orientation, um, but this straight in line with your activation box. Just tighten this down. Um, and then there you go. Now these all come with the Starfall Sabres sound font package. Um, there are a lot of fonts on these, and um, each one has its own blade style and blade color. Uh, the Saber, it doesn't have save state, but these all have 
OS 6.5 and for uh, ProfiBoard v2.2. And I have noticed that even though save state is not on, the color change feature will remember what color it was on even after, you know, as if save state was on. So if you change from red and then leave the font, like if you make it yellow and then change the font and then go back, it'll stay yellow. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, some people like that, some people don't like that. Um, but that is how these are configured right now. Um, the Saber has gestures, so you can pull it down real hard which puts it into battle mode, so when you clash the saber, it locks up until you move it away from the point that it collide, clashed. Uh, that works with drags and stabs and melts and all of that. And then to turn the saber off, you would rotate it one way and then back to its original resting position. And that will shut the saber off. To change fonts, you would just tap the auxiliary. Celestial. That'll change the color of the crystal. Hero's journey. You can lock up by holding the power when the saber is on. Uh, it'll stay in lock up for as long as you hold the power. If you tap the auxiliary, you'll get blasters. If you hold it while vertical or pointed down, you'll get force abilities. I'm sorry, that's the power button that'll do that. And then if you hold it straight up and down while the saber's on, it'll start music. Um, if you hold the auxiliary button while the saber is on, it'll put you in blaster mode. So if you hold it for one second and then release. Now when you move the saber, it'll actually deflect blasters along with accent swings and um, regular smooth swing. And then to get out of it, just do a regular blaster block or turn the saber off. And battery level. battery level, which is the last font on all of these sabers, um, it'll display the battery level on your blade. So if it's all the way at the tip, it'll be green, and then it'll move lower down to the emitter as the battery drains, and it'll become go from green to blue to white to orange to yellow to red. And eventually it'll start telling you low battery, and it's going to get really annoying, and you're going to have no choice but to plug it in and let it just uh, recharge. And in order to do that, you're just going to plug it into one of these little battery doohickeys right here. So this guy, you open up like this, take off your pommel, just remove your battery, and then slide this guy right in here. And this plugs into any USB receptacle that you have. This is a smart charger, so I'm going to plug this in right here. And... It looks like this when it's on, and it'll just charge up, and as it's charging, the bars will fill up, and it'll let you know, see, this is actually at a half charge. I don't know if you can tell from here, but it's at a half charge. So that's nice, and it just lets you know when the, the saber, or when the battery is done charging. Um, and then obviously you want to keep the battery out of this. There's no kill switch or anything. Um, for these sabers. So if you're just keeping it on the shelf and you don't want the LEDs running, um, just take out your battery. Otherwise, nipple up. So you have the spring on the bottom here and your nipple inside. So nipple to nipple always. And then, you know, it says di diadium on one side. So that side facing out, probably preferable. And then there you go. So 
that's just how it goes. Stick this back on, you're good to go. Alright guys, that does it for this video. If you like what you see and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more videos in the near future. Uh, I've got more Starfall Sabres coming, some KR Sabres. As I said, there's going to be a ton of Thrawn Hunters coming in. I really asked for it and now I dug myself in. So get ready to see plenty of those and Ray Scavengers. Um, in the near future. There's going to be a thermal detonator. I mean, what am I bribing you here? I don't know. <laughs> Just like and subscribe and you're not going to miss out on any of the cool content coming in the near future. And if you yourself are looking for install work, please reach out at john at sabersforever.com. Right there. So, Without further ado, I guess I'll just see you on the next video, and as always, may the force be with you.